Some of you may remember my 100 subscriber special from back in April last year. Well, at the end of that video, I optimistically said the next milestone was 420 subscribers. I honestly never expected to ever get to that, but just recently, I actually did. And I thought, we're better to do a video celebrating that milestone than Amsterdam, baby. I am back in Luton guys. This is the third video in a row now where I've came to Luton. My uh, Finland and my Iceland video is also in Luton. So I found this little corner, like right near the Burger King. When I went to Finland, I slept in this corner because I had to sleep in the airport to get an early flight. Iceland was the same situation. Now it's the same situation tonight, going to Amsterdam. <laughs> All three times I've slept in this little corner. So considering I've been here three times, I think I'm well within my rights to, uh, to name this corner. So um, obviously I'm calling at Craig's Corner. Now you're welcome to sleep here, but only if you subscribe to me. Otherwise you can f off, find your own corner. Anyway, I'm absolutely knackered. I've been working. I worked 12 hours today. I'm sh knackered. So I am going to go to sleep in Craig's Corner. Third time. Third time I've been in this corner. It's nuts. Yeah, I'm going to go to sleep guys. I'm knackered. How good would it be now if I could just wake up in Amsterdam? Good night guys. Whoa, I didn't expect that to work. Well guys, I'm in Amsterdam, and you know what that means? Sightseeing, baby. <laughs> Cheers. I know what you're thinking, why the f is he drinking Heineken? Nobody likes Heineken. But dude, I'm in Amsterdam. If you go to Amsterdam and you don't drink Heineken, that's like going to Dublin and not getting a Guinness. Cheers, guys. There's lots to do in Amsterdam, from canal boat tours, hop-on, hop-off bus tours, museums such as the Van Gogh Museum, the Sex Museum, the Weed Museum, and many more. You can do the Heineken experience, walk the endless labyrinth of canals, or even catch the free canal ferry from Central Station. Or, if you're feeling in the mood to ride some Thing, you can go down to the red light district and rent yourself a bike for a different way to see the city but you'll want at least five days to take your time and do everything Amsterdam has to offer but in this video I'll show you how I spent two days in Amsterdam for this video I met with my mate Ollie and all right we actually arrived the night before but it was kind of late so we just went for a walk and you'll never believe who we met we met Batman at Dam Square do you know how I know that's the real Batman look at that. <laughs> Look at those ankle swingers! <laughs> The first thing we did on our full day was exactly what Amsterdam is famous for, weed and coffee shops. You won't struggle to find a coffee shop in Amsterdam. For those of you that don't know, the coffee shops are where you can legally purchase and smoke weed. Generally speaking, you can't smoke tobacco inside the coffee shops, not even if it's in a joint, but they do offer herbal mix to roll with instead, which is usually free and found on the tables inside the coffee shops. However, some coffee shops might have tobacco smoking rooms or areas. Buying is easy, just walk in, look at the menu and purchase what you want. Just for your information, you're not allowed to film inside the coffee shops either. Well, not the customer's faces anyway. To my knowledge, it's okay to smoke your joints on the streets as you're walking about pretty much anywhere in the city besides the red light district, where it's now banned outside of the coffee shops. Like I said, there are loads of coffee shops to choose from, but some of the best ones are Greenhouse United, which annoyingly looks like it's just called Coffee Shop, which made it so hard for us to find. This place used to have a giant aquarium with tropical fish as the floor but much to our disappointment that has now been removed. The vibe is chilled and the food looks banging though. I check out Grey Area Coffee Shop. It's tiny inside but popular among celebrities such as Snoop Dogg. The Bulldog chain is like the Weatherspoons of coffee shops. They're everywhere. Only unlike Weatherspoons, these ones are overpriced. If you're gonna visit one Bulldog, I'd recommend visiting Bulldog the First, which is found down at the Red Light District. This was the first ever coffee shop in Amsterdam. There you are, guys, got myself a pre-rolled. I don't smoke weed anymore, I haven't smoked weed for like many years. So, obviously if you come to Amsterdam you've got to have a smoke. But I'm not going to buy a whole bag of weed just to smoke one joint. So I got myself a pre-rolled, guys. This cost me 12 euros, but they go down to 10 euros, at least in the Bulldog anyway. If you are going to visit Bulldog the First, while you're there you may as well check out the church, Old Kirk, which is literally right next door. I love the fact they got triple X on the side of a church though. Classic Amsterdam. You can go inside for 12 euros and climb up to the tower for a nice view.
Getting around the city is nice and easy guys. They have an extensive tram network and loads of bus services that you can use. But honestly, most things are within walking distance anyway. On our quest for coffee shops, we wandered past the Sex Museum, which is on the high street right outside of Central Station and is a must visit. It costs nine euros to get inside. Watch out for the locals, guys. They stash their joints in some weird places. This lady stashing her joint. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Of course, don't forget to stop at Dam Square. We went there again during the day this time and were fortunate enough to meet Batman again. This time, he had a prop. I love this guy. He's got a prop today. <laughs> yeah, boy! This guy is a legend. Dam Square is always lively. Here you can pay a guy a little tip for a handful of rice to feed the pigeons. You can pay this guy whatever you want. It's just a handful of rice. I chucked him one euro. Just don't be an idiot like me and drop it all on the floor. Uh, I dropped too much on the floor. <laughs> My excuse for that is that I was really high at that point because we'd just been filming the intro scene and I thought I'd do it in one take, a couple of puffs, that's all it would take me. But Ollie can't f***ing do a simple pan and zoom on a camera which resulted in us taking a ridiculous amount of time to film that shot, that one simple shot. So here's a few clips of him practicing and a few clips of us trying to get that shot. Watch how I gradually get more and more high throughout the clips. No, okay, I'm not being <laughs> Too high, too high oh. oh, Craig, I can't oh. Craig. Go on, do it. Swim the wrong way. Oh, f You record it? Yeah. yeah record. I'll record it when you're ready. No, it's not recorded now. Okay, yeah, yeah. Cut it. You are recording? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what I said. Yeah, <laughs> right, so we're going to go that way? Yeah, always okay. the same way. <laughs> We've been trying to film this intro scene now. There's a brand new joint when I started. And I thought, oh, we'll do it on the first take. Look how much is left. I'm baked. Anyway, right. You recording? Amsterdam, baby. <coughs> Not far from Dam Square, you'll find the Grey Area Coffee Shop and the Anne Frank House, which is just a museum. I didn't go inside, but if you are wanting to go inside this museum and all the museums, guys, I highly recommend getting yourself an I Amsterdam City Card, which gives you free entry into all the museums as well as free public transport, bike rental, and canal cruises. The prices range from 60 to 125 euros depending on the length you want the card to be valid for. I've left a link in this video's description to where you can buy one of these. They will save you loads of money. Guys, this isn't a sponsored message. I'm just trying to help you out. So please help me out by liking this video and subscribing to my channel. You know what time it is, guys? It's time for a pint. Because in good old I'm so craggy fashion, you know I do not go sightseeing without, without drinking. Because sightseeing is boring. But it has to be done though, doesn't it? Cheers, guys. After not going inside Anne Frank's museum, we headed for Remembrance Square, passing through the flower market on the way.
Right next to Remembered Square is Smokey's Coffee Shop. Lit up in fluorescent lights, this place is vibing and in my opinion one of the best coffee shops to visit in Amsterdam. A bit of a walk from the city centre but totally worth it. Mm, lovely. How are you liking your burger, all? He found a giant trolley oh, burger. <laughs> You'll notice this city is set up perfectly for weed smokers with the munchies. You'll find waffle shops and sweet shops everywhere. Perfect if you fancy a meal for kings. Guys, they have some absolutely mad options, but I went for the best. Best chocolate ever made, maybe besides a Kit Kat. Bounty. Fight me, guys. Oh, look, House of Creeps. <laughs> Of course, if you are spending two days in Amsterdam, on the one night you've got there, guys, you must experience the Amsterdam nightlife, which is off the hook. Because we had just two full days there, I thought the best way to do it was to use each day for the two legal highs you can do there. Day one for weed, and day two, well. Good morning. Good morning. Um, are you ready, Creek? Or not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, can I get a vegetarian breakfast, please? Yeah, but can I get it with no eggs, no baked beans, uh, no tomatoes, and no toast, please? Without seven. Only the mushroom. Yeah, all the mushrooms. All right, mushrooms aren't actually legal there anymore. They're magic truffles instead, which do the exact same thing to you as shrooms. Give you the best day of your life. There are special shops for buying magic truffles in Amsterdam. And just like weed, they have different strains which give you different effects. I went for the ones with the highest visual effects. They vary in price and cost upwards of 30 euros. So I picked up some shrooms. They're not really shrooms, they're, um, they're truffles, but they're magic truffles, so they do exactly the same thing. Anyway, I picked up some for um, 30 quid, I think it's 50 grams or something for 30 euros last day in Amsterdam so let's do it they don't taste as bad as mushrooms wash it back with a beer of course I mean it's still rank but here we go we were going to do a canal city tour because anything and everything is fun when you're tripping but we decided against that idea. If you did want to do a tour, the tour boats leave from the docks near Central Station opposite the Sex Museum and across the water from the famous Damrak gingerbread houses. There's loads of companies to choose from and the prices go up from about 16 euros. They have loads of different ones to choose from, from standard tours to dinner cruises, wine and cheese cruises, pancake cruises and even New York pizza cruises. We decided to go to the cat boat instead though, because that would have been way more fun. The boat stays docked and is just an orphanage for homeless cats that doubles up as a cafe. Make sure you book in advance though, because their opening hours are shit. And if you don't have a booking, there's always a queue. You can book on the link in the video description. So me and Olfa, what's the best thing to do on your last day in uh, Amsterdam? Then going to see uh, cats, a cat, cat boat, what's it called? Poos and Boot. Poos and Boot. Poos and Boot. When you're on shrooms, <laughs> there's nothing better to do, is there? They go and see cats in a cafe, and the poos and, and the puss and boots. So after queuing for the cat boat for a little while, we decided we probably weren't going to make it in by the time it closes. So we decided to go back to Dam Square and see Batman one more time. But Batman wasn't there. So we decided to go to the rubber ducky store and in my trippy mind, I thought it was a great idea to buy myself a Batman duck in memory of Batman. There's Batman duck perched on my wardrobe, watching out for danger as I sleep at night. I know what you're thinking, there's one major part of Amsterdam I've not put in this video, but I have guys, it's probably the best part about Amsterdam. If you haven't figured it out yet, this place is the red light district. Guys, this place needs no introduction, but I won't be going there because I don't it. Come on. Seriously though, the red light district is more than just a place to go and get laid. It's probably the best place to visit in Amsterdam, with vibrant bars and clubs, and places to watch sex shows with a comedic twist. When I watched one years ago, the lady must have just dropped, because she was pole dancing on stage while squirting breast milk at the crowd. I do warn you though, if you go and watch a sex show with your partner, it's highly likely one of you will be asked to eat the banana out of her pussy. The red light district is jokes guys, and if you have no intentions of visiting in it, then you may as well not come to Amsterdam.
When we were done with Amsterdam, we headed to Central Station to get the train back to the airport. The train is the fastest and most convenient way to transfer to and from the airport. It costs just five euros 90 and takes about 25 minutes. And it's a direct train with no changes. Amsterdam is wild guys. I like to call it Amsterdamage. The place is loads of fun and I highly recommend paying it a visit sometime. Even if partying isn't your thing, the city is super interesting and has so much to do. And while you're there, don't forget to pay Batman a visit. He's a fella I'm so craggy subscriber now. Oh, if you're watching this Batman, leave a comment down below and let me know dude. I subscribe, I'm so craggy. <laughs> what a hero.